Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we'll talk about the class not found exception, why it gets thrown and how to fix it. According to the official description, the class not found exception is thrown when an application tries to load a class by its name using one of these methods, but no class definition for the name can be found. So what exactly can cause this exception to be thrown? Say so we have a project named mylib. The project contains two packages, p1 and p2. Each of the packages contains two classes. P1 contains class A and class B, while P2 contains class C and class D. Now I want to use these classes in another project named mylibtest, but we don't want to compile them every time we compile our mylibtest project. So we build a mylib project, and we get .class files in the build folder and a jar file in the dist folder. Now if you're using a build system other than ant, the build result including folder names might look different. So now we can use these classes as an external library. Say in the mylib test project we want to load class A located in the package p1 using the forName method, like this. The forName method throws the class not found exception which we need to catch, so let's do it. Let's also print whatever the forName method returns. Now if we run my lib test project, we will get the class not found exception, and as some of you have probably figured, we get the exception because JVM has no way to figure out where class A is located. To help JVM locate class A, we need to specify the so-called class path to class A. How do we do that? We can either do that when we run mylibtest from the console using the class path flag, or we can have the class path added when we build mytestlib project. In addition, we can either use the path to the classes folder or the path to the jar file. First, let's see how we can specify class path when running the project. And let's use the jar file as our class path, like this. Here, the word Java means that we want to run a Java program by executing a class. The class path flag tells the JVM where to look for the class that we want to execute, as well as where to look for other associated classes. In our case, we specify two paths separated by a colon. I need to use a colon because I'm using a Mac computer. On Windows, you use a semicolon to separate multiple class paths. The first path before the semicolon is the path to the mylibtest class while the second path is the path to the jar file that contains class A. Note that the order of class path doesn't really matter. Now as you can see, our program doesn't throw any exception, but prints class p1.classA, which is the return of the forename method. And if we now remove the second path, we will get the class not found exception, which means that JVM can no longer locate class A. If you think setting a class path like this is too annoying, you're not alone. I totally agree. So let's look at a more user-friendly way of doing that. Luckily, IDEs can handle class paths for us. Let's look at adding a class path in NetBeans, the IDE that I'm using. If we right-click on my lib test project in the projects window, select properties, and in the properties window, we open libraries here on the left. In the right part of the window, we will be able to add class path by clicking this plus button. Let's select add jar slash folder from the list and specify the path to the mylib.jar file. And here's the class path that NetBeans added to the mylibtest project. Also, if we look in the libraries folder of mylibtest project, we will see the jar file that we just added. Now, if we try running mylibtest project, the project will run without throwing any exceptions. Alright, so a missing class path is one of potential causes of class not found exception. What else can go wrong? Apart from misspelling the class name that we want to load, we can also misspell or even provide an incomplete class name. Specifically, we can provide wrong package names.
or forget the package name altogether, which will cause the exception. Now, if instead of using a jar file, we we'll link the classes folder that contains .class files. And try running the project. Well, we'll see no change. The project still runs. But if we now accidentally rename the folder that contains the classes and try to run my lib test project, we once again will get the exception because class B is no longer in the P1 folder. Please note what will happen if instead of the path to the classes folder, We use the path to the package folder as the class path. If we do that, the classes will be treated as if they belong to the default package. And we won't be able to load them, meaning we need to make sure we add the path to the folder that contains the topmost package of the package hierarchy. So let's summarize what we've covered in this video. Class not found exception gets thrown when JVM fails to locate a class that you want to load. This might happen when we do not specify the class path to the class, which we can do either when running or when building our program. When defining a class path, we can either use the jar file that contains the class we want to load or the path to the folder that contains the packages that the class belongs to. We should also make sure we haven't misspelled the name of the class we're trying to load, including the package names that the class belongs to. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've got some really cool stuff coming up.